Hello fellas, today we speak about TP-Link Archer C4000, a router that sometimes can be found with a price tag over 250 bucks. Why do people need expensive routers and how is this thing from Star Wars in total? Let's take into it. Starting with a quick look on its body, frankly design is not unique, market has enough of such devices from the manufacturer, but since this one is the first on our hands, I will not deny myself from the pleasure of praising the router for its appearance. It looks perfectly brutal, bold, emitting power and reliability, I would even say it's masculine. Antennas here are not 1.5 meters long, Archer C50 have a longer one, but there are 6 of them here, they can be folded and… Activating instant kill. Unfolded. In a spidey mode, it is better to place router on a shelf or bedside table. And if you want to see it on the wall, antennas should be folded. By the way, if you are not afraid of spiders on the wall, this model has special double side hangers. On the front, there is a set of indicators for everything you ever dreamed about, and three buttons for quickly turning on and off the Wi-Fi, WPS and the same indicators. For the latter one, I am mostly grateful, the number of LEDs is impressive indeed, they are bright and blue, and in general can be really disturbing during the night time. On the rear, you can find 5 gigabit Ethernet ports, one stands for WAN and four others for local area network devices. Also, C4000 supports channel aggregation that will be useful for connecting network storage, and I'm sure there are more benefits from this technology, so why won't you drop me a line in comment section down below if you have something on your mind. There's USB 2.0 for setting up a print server, and USB 3.0 that is tempting me to plug in some hard drive for sharing database. By the way, in case if you can't live without backups, Apple Time Machine is supported here as well. Now specifically about router capabilities, it works by means of next protocols 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c, and 802.3ab. If that's what you came here for, I can say that the latter one stands for gigabit Ethernet over Twisted Pair Cat5. One of router's features is creation of two networks in a range of 5 GHz with a speed of 1625 megabits per second for each and one in 2.4 GHz for less demanding stations but with still bold enough 750 megabits per second. If you trust robots more than people in your flat, then you can enable Smart Connect feature. With this, three networks from the connection list will merge into one and router will decide side by itself which one to connect to you depending on your demands. Also, to increase the speed of network by trimming capabilities of already slow devices, you can turn on pretty cruel airtime fairness. And for 5 GHz networks, multi-user MIMO is among the options as well. Don't forget about beam forming as well as range boost that should increase the signal coverage area. Among the additional features, there's a guest network, one for each network range, that gives us three in total. Pity that we didn't find any option of limiting speed for guests, I would really like to have such instrument at hand. There's a built-in VPN, antivirus, some chips for IPTV, parental control and other less popular features like NAT and prioritization, which I personally never used before. As you notice, the web interface for setting everything in admin panel is clear as a day, there are two especially simple modes, basic one if you are too lazy to poke around and functions, and a quick setup for people who deals with router for the first time in their lives and have no idea what they need and where to look first. There's also Tether app for smartphones with basic tools. It's really nifty, so that for setting up a home router, I had to use website only once when it was necessary to input parameters of the channel manually for better data transfer with PC receiver. In a lot of cases, the app was more than enough for doing all tasks. Well, and now, while you're watching real measurements of the data transfer speed between points within the local network, I will share with you our thoughts on who needs and why you could possibly want a router like C4000. Not pretending to be objective, without two USB ports and channel aggregation, it would be an overkill router at home that can give fast access to the internet than you will ever need. But in pair with a gigabit connection and time machine server support, this kit looks as serious as router itself, and I don't think that it's rational to have such device at normal flat, because mostly people do not need all these functions at hand. In a small office, yes, in a studio,
video, yes, in an apartment there is both an apartment and an office? Definitely, but not for a home. TP-Link has a lot of powerful devices of Archer series, which are optimal for home use both in terms of features and price. So this is it for today, and if you are interested in this one or some other TP-Link products that we covered previously, I will drop a link to internet stores for buying in the description box below. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button, ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!